how did the mural project start? Um, I, um, I spoke to I, I spoke to Julia um, Julia uh, sometime la early last year. We talked about the idea, and Julia were, was a governor at St Ben's School, and it, it sort of snowballed. That's the, the easiest thing I can think of. We were painting murals because they um, St Ben's, the school where we did St Benedict's uh, Junior School, um, put out a. a a post on social media asking for local artists to um, paint murals on this uh, expensive wall they had in the in the school field I'm um, kind of in their nature area of a nature theme and um, I shared it and said I was going along Mark said oh could I come with you and that's kind of when we got to know each other so we were painting our own murals next to each other and you yeah. had the idea, didn't you, Mark, that you thought it would be really good to do murals with the children? That's correct. Yeah, I thought it was um, because it was a when we when we went to the school, it was a fantastic experience. And obviously, the idea, I think it said the idea of bloom, it developed and it, it created its own momentum. Excellent. That uh, sounds good, especially getting the children involved. That's uh, that's really nice. So, what did you do at the um, the red brick building in Glastonbury? What what did you do there? Well, we had, we did a series of workshops. Um, the first one we actually did was taking the children round the town of Glastonbury because they have a, a mural trail. So we'd taken the children to see some examples of murals to inspire them. So then at the Red Brick Building, we did a, 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 a workshop there to encourage the children to, to they first of all painted little individual paintings um, to uh, kind of get some ideas down based on what they'd seen. Um, and then we put those together and created a theme. And then in the afternoon, we had two very large canvases and the idea was to encourage them to kind of paint large because children don't really get that experience very often so they painted these big canvases together um, with a kind of an accumulation of all their ideas from the little canvases and so something came together to give us an idea of what they could paint on the walls at the school. Oh, that's brilliant that sounds like a really good approach and uh, yeah you're right it's um I mean, it must have been quite a new experience for them to, to paint on that massive sort of, uh, on, on the big walls like that. So, yeah. nice. Yeah. So the pictures look fantastic. Yeah, go ahead, Mark. I think, it, I think for me, and I think it for both of us, it was a learning curve too. Mm. Um, yeah. Julie's Julie got a lot more experience in this field than I have. So for me, it was a much steeper learning curve. And she guided me very well because working with children and working with adults is completely different, mm -hmm. different concept. Yes, I, I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. Children is encouraging them to communicate with each other. Um, and they're, I think they're quite used to being told what to do, but to, um, to kind of get their own ideas that it's going to be completely their idea and to be encouraged to do that and to be quite free in doing that, but then to discuss it with each other. So we had them in teams and they weren't kind of fixed teams. It would, we'd mix and match and right. just see right. how things were going as to what needed doing next. Hmm. Ah, excellent. That's, that's good. Yeah, getting the kids working together as well and yeah. uh, probably a bit of problem solving, a bit of improvisation maybe and, uh, yeah. Yeah. and things yeah. like that. So, yeah, excellent. So I've seen the pictures, um, lots of different, I think there was a starry night um, yeah. on one of the walls and then there was some scenes of uh, the tour as well. And uh, I believe, it, did they, they painted on a, a bus shelter? Is that right? Yeah. It was a, yeah. a, a bike shelter. A bike shelter. Yeah. In the school, yeah. So, oh, excellent. Yeah, we had the idea of doing different skies. So we had a night sky and then behind the bike sh shelter was a sunset. You were meant to be able to see the sunset through the bike shelter, but uh, it kind of didn't work out that way in the end. And then there was a daytime sky. Um, and then at the end, there were a group of children that were, when they painted their little canvases, it, they, it was a little bit kind of more modern, a bit more, um, abstract. So they had a little bit of wall at the end to just kind of do their own thing. 
They were they were all great and different in their own way, you know. Yeah. They all showed different skills, so we tried to get them to use those skills. Was the head teacher pleased with the the project overall? Yes, he was very pleased and Excellent. very appreciative of of our hard work. Oh, fantastic! That's that's great news. Yeah. Yeah, I think working with you, I think we really enjoyed working together, and I'm hoping that after this project, I can. I uh, try to hopefully expand it a bit more, but mm. that's up to that's, that's up to the people. That's up to peers and the people in charge of the school budget. Um, I need to talk to Julie a bit more about that to try to develop these ideas. But again, it's, it's up to the people who who have the money and have the uh, obviously budgets. That's my concern, but it's to make it grow after what we've done. Great. Okay, yeah, I mean, uh, it sounds like something that a lot of kids would probably be quite excited about, you know. Uh, I would have loved to uh, have had that opportunity, so uh, yeah, it sounds pretty good. The only thing was that we, with the money we had and things, we could only work with a very small group of children. There were 15 in the group, um, and there were a lot more children in the school that would have liked to have taken part, but it's, it's finances sponsoring or something come from this or anything like that to, to help um mm. if it could open up for mark and for the school it would be great mm. okay thank yeah, you i appreciate it yeah. can you mention to cameron that competition you won which may be interesting to viewers okay yeah no i was on um television on channel four a program called draws off so it was a life drawing um art competition um, we were in teams, and so we had to model not naked. It was very, uh, it was tastefully done. It was on the <laughs> half past five. Um, okay. So yeah. it, it was, uh, uh, so we took it in turns to model and to draw and paint each other. And there would be one winner each week, and I won my week. So, ah, fantastic. Uh, it's still on channel, it's on channel four's kind of um, uh, catch up sense. All four. That's what, all, all four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's so good. my particular episodes are episodes eleven to fifteen. So I was on every day that week. Oh, fantastic! Oh, well, well done for uh, mm. winning that week. That's that's pretty Thank cool. You. Nice. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>